Uh, I, I can already tell Robert's gonna like this guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey sharks, my name's Nick Lamb. I'm from Santa Cruz, California, and I'm here seeking fifty thousand dollars in exchange for twenty percent of my company, Ice hmm. Beanie. Sharks, as you may be able to it's tell, I spend most of my time chasing the largest surf on the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a professional big wave surfer. Started surfing at five, competing at nine. Fourteen, wow. I became the youngest to ever surf Mavericks. Only a few years later, wow. I'm now the current defending Mavericks champion. <laughs> But while surfing Nazareth, Portugal, the largest wave in the world, I slipped and fell on a giant 70 foot wave that rung my bell. Oh, and with a serious concussion. wow, that was a spill. Now, from... Yeah, that, that is a spill. That, uh, <laughs> he's lucky he's, he, he survived that. Months after the incident, I had terrible post concussion migraine headaches. So frustrated with little ice packs on my head, I knew there had to be a better way. That's why I created Ice Beanie. I love, I love Mother of All Invention, well, right? It's, it's necessity. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it takes a crash. <laughs> yeah right but not a doctor not a not somebody that's like been in the medical field forever that takes a, you know somebody taking get a big hit to the head yeah ice beanie is an all-natural compression cold therapy solution to help provide you heavenly relief from migraines headaches and concussions simply toss she ice looks happy. in the freezer take out and place it on your head it's that easy so guys do you or a it, seems, it seems too easy like why did nobody think of this before <laughs> really uh it, it's the simplest problems that need to be solved yeah and w with a pretty s probably pretty simple uh, answer you suffer from debilitating mm -hmm. migraine headaches are you tired of holding a frozen bag of peas on your head or the kind of drugs it's time to take back control of your life with ice bay day <laughs> so guys who's ready to get cool and invest with ice bay <laughs> good job no, Nick, right. was that Thank the you. wave that knocked you out it was yeah if we could get a replay you can see me actually getting sucked over the falls there this is it. Yeah, try to balance on the ocean. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Over. oh. Wow. I popped up and got a quick little breath to survive. How tall was that wave? Six, seven story building, 60, wow. 70 foot. You know? Yeah. Like, wow, I can't imagine falling from there. Right? That's, uh, I mean, you're in water, so you're kind of encased, but you, you your, your head, you know, gets hit, and then maybe you're out, knocked out, and then. Well, when, when he said he was knocked, knocked out, you know, was what with the water hitting the water? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. The force, the force of that. Like you're you're up that high and you're, you know, you're going so fast and you just smack your head. I mean, think about it. like even the, um, even like football players, right? The the the, the head injuries aren't necessarily on the you know the receiver t catching the ball and then like taking a hit. It's literally just the lineman going up and hitting. Mm -hmm, you know, hike, mm -hmm. go, hike, go, hike, go, and. And that's where like those traumas come from, like because the, the amount of force that's hitting on your head is is incredible. Like he probably should be wearing a helmet for this, cut, you know, for for surfing. But no, who does that, right? Maybe that's maybe that's his, that should be the next. Dimension. That's maybe that, that should be. I should pitch that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an underwater car accident. It's pretty intense, you know. It's like NASCAR meets the ocean, but I love it. So I have a question about this. Yes. So I know people who have migraines and, you know, I've seen people put things on their heads sure. that have ice in them. Sure. Are you the only thing out there with ice packs in it? So what I, I can tell you is that there's nothing like ice beanie on the market. Now, there are other products. However, they are bulky, heavy, do not all provide full head coverage, and all of them require an arduous setup. Ice beanie addresses all those pain points. That's why we feel we're not only different, but better. Are you saying that the other ones have packs like this in it. some of them have gel inserts yeah but they all you have to apply them to the to the product so you don't patented? have a patent on this we're patent pending it doesn't fit so you gotta pull it pull it down yeah. it go, it goes just around, so yeah it goes just around, around, just around, 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 so, so joe the that part uh, of it the, like you don't see you can't see here yeah. well yeah the idea on these he asks is the patent all right yes. most people yeah. don't realize how uh, valuable that patent is you know yeah yeah i mean you have one and you know when he says patent pending uh, if you're looking to do something in your product and you, you're like you're trying to launch it, the idea of getting that patent out there, it's like it, it, you're scared to release it because if someone gets it, they're going to take and do that, duplicate your stuff. Uh, but that patent is what the sharks are looking for. They want to know, hey, have you got this secured so that if I put my money into this, you know, Joe Pardo is not going to come out with a duplicate next week. Yeah, and well, and when he does, they'll just be able to go after me and get you know get their get their money on it.
Yeah. Feel? Does it feel really cold? It feels good. Actually, it feels really good. And it your hair really will good. warm it up and it'll start to mold to the shape of your head. Does it grow hair? <laughs> I'm trying to get my hair around, so to speak, Nick. How big? Oh, come on, Kevin. You, do, you don't need hair. You're, you're doing just fine. The market is there for people that want to put ice hats on their heads. In the U.S. alone, there's over 40 million people that suffer from migraines. But how many would actually wrap wow. their head in ice? That's the question. Anybody who thought it would work would do it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah, tell us about your business and yeah. how it's working. Absolutely. So the U If they thought it would work and then they bought it and it worked then they would tell more people to go and do like yeah I, i'm yes you know. but how how many times have you bought a product hoping it would work all right and then it doesn't a lot a lot uh, anti-snoring products for sure <laughs> yeah i mean we as a, a society in america we want to find a solution and most of us will try the solution based on its price like price points let's say if it's it's under a hundred dollars I'll try it. You know? Yeah. No, I, I, absolutely. You know, and that's what, that's what, uh, okay, go ahead. No. Where do you sell them? Right now we're selling direct to consumer off our website, Amazon and Etsy. And how, how many have you sold over what period of time? So we launched near Q4 last year. Sales to date are just around 100,000. Okay. All right. That's, that's not bad. So he's asking a 50, uh, well, 50,000. That's a, yeah. So, well, he's valuing it uh, at two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty. I'm trying to do the math 20, in my head. Twenty percent. Yeah. I'm not good at that either. Anybody who's watched this series knows my, my math is not not big brain. Um, so I, I, you know, if he, if if the first quarter. So I don't know when this was filmed. This this episode just came out a couple of weeks ago. So the, I'm guessing December of 2020 is when mm -hmm. he he or, or or that quarter, uh, the fourth quarter. So that's pretty darn good if you came out and sold 100 grand in three months way more than i would have thought 2500 units and what was your okay of getting it out there for people to know about it right so we've been leveraging a network of uh influencers that i have uh professional ufc athletes crossfit world champions actresses and olympic gold medalists and why are they wearing it what's their purpose well they wear it after intense workouts i use it now more after like an intense workout it's like cold you know, and, yeah, really because i can see that like instead of pouring water under are you water, well you catching that he actually said, Joe, his first marketing is influencers. Yes. And he well, named he, the influencers. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's the, lady, the, the number one, guys. If you're watching this, the influencer is who you're trying to go after. Yeah. Yeah. From a, from the business standpoint, you, you definitely, with a product, you know, with a lot of products, but product like this, like it helps to have those, those types of high performance people uh, use it and get behind it. And then it's like, Oh, well, if it works for them, it, sh it could work for me. Why not? Right. Um, and it helps that he is, you know, he's the somebody, right. He's not a nobody in this case. So he has those connections. He has those friends in, in high places that were probably willing to try it out and, and do some level of, uh, you know, some level will. of testing. Yeah. And he's got that idea of, he's got an audience before he started it. Yep, absolutely. you know, and that's that's what these investors are look looking for. They're not they're not not just looking for the product, knowing what else can I market to his audience. Yep. Yeah. One of those things. I can exactly. see this yeah. down. Yeah. Now, yeah. Nick, I moved like to Florida, so my head didn't feel like this in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> and your average consumer that buys it, are they buying it, like Mark said, for a workout? Are they buying it for migraines? Do you have any data around that? Primarily, they're buying it for migraines, headaches, and some of our customers have had TBI, traumatic brain injury, uh, as well I, as chemotherapy customers, because I believe yeah, going I through the therapy, therapy chemo, their, their heads get yes. hot. Yes. Wow. Mm, I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, they do. Nick, it's interesting. I'm very impressed by you. I really, really thought you were nuts when you walked in here, but you have a clear plan. It's just the size of the market. I think it's going to be difficult to acquire customers to scale it. This is my own opinion because a certain kind of person will put ice on their head. Finding that person is not that easy. But there's multiple markets, right? So Did he say how much each of these ice beanies cost? He Did didn't, I but I, he, he gave the value to 2,500 units, $100,000. Okay, and did you do the math on that? I didn't do the math on it. Oh, I, it's okay. You don't have to. All right, it's thirty nine ninety five. Yeah. That there There's you the go. Hospital market. We have the sport market and then the hangover market. You know, like, I, I wish you the, the best. hangover this market. Is just not some, a journey I want to surf with. So I'm out. All right. I, I right there. I figured Kevin would go out first. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Why? He wrote in on that uh, on that surfboard. Mm -hmm. Totally 
relates to his store story. All right. But does not relate to where the market is for the product. Mm. Kevin, Kevin looks at it. Okay. He looked at the gimmick and realized this guy's been marketing on a gimmick. All right. Maybe he got his friends and family to buy, but I don't know as though he's going for the right market. That's why Kevin, that's why Kevin went out right away. I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's a, a solid, a solid point. There. I know they've taught, you know, they always talk about like the bubble, you know, and there's a bubble even after they put on Shark Tank, right? They all know it. Everybody knows it. You know, you go on the show and then the, your, your sales balloon up again. Right. So I, I think that, I think that it's, it's, it's difficult, right? Because you want to come off as authentic in your, in your pitch, right. And, and like you're owning your, you know, the why you started it and all that. But at the same time, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And, and also you gotta remember this is TV. So like the, the producers might've pushed for him to come out as, as the surfer guy, right? Like, Hey, mm -hmm. we have this famous surfer. Like let's, let's bring him out in, you know, like we did the, the, uh, with the broccoli wad, I uh, did the broccoli wad episode before. And you know, Vinny, Vinny's there from, from the Sopranos. And if he came out in like a Hawaiian shirt and shorts, it'd be like, well, that doesn't really fit the part. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I get what you're saying and I don't disagree, but it's, but it's also hard cause you're, you're fighting a lot of forces when you're, when you're hitting the floor here, uh, in, in what you should and shouldn't be doing from a marketing standpoint. But bottom line. Kevin is always looking at your numbers. He it, it, he'll ignore the gimmick if you can show him he can make a million dollars. I'm just uh, that's just saying that about Kevin. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's understandable. I mean, look at thirty. What I say it was twenty thirty nine ninety five or something. Thirty nine ninety five. Yeah, so that I mean that I don't know uh, at twenty five hundred units. Uh, it, it's it's tough to say that this would uh continue to sell at that price i feel like maybe at 29.95 it would sell it would sell a lot more i don't i don't know if you would want to go as low as 19.95 just because that's almost like a gimmicky price no no 29 uh but he's got to get we haven't, he haven't said what of his cost is what does this true. cost well, to we'll make this out. we'll find yeah. out we had a problem we came up with a solution but i'm very dubious about investing in this because i'm concerned about your competition sure. so while you're great and this is great I'm not afraid of competition i i know <laughs> and you know what you're gonna do amazing because you have that drive within you i just don't think it's the right investment for okay. me so i'm sorry i'm out thank you you know what i'll make you an offer because for 50 grand you're a great partner it's a great idea like, worst case i can get him in the mavs locker room That'd so I'll give, I'll give you the 50k i want 30 percent um, Would you go to 25, Mark? Do it. Done. Yeah, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, love it. Well, I'll pause it on that. No, no, hold on a second. <laughs> right there, ladies. You take an offer who you want to work with. He knew he wanted to work with Mark Cuban. Well, uh, yeah, obviously you got the maps to, to work off of and how many connections are there, right? Mm -hmm. It's a sports product. Mostly. So Mostly. I love Damon John, but let's face it. Damon John's products are not sports related. Uh, he has, he does have a lot of investments in, uh, in, in gyms and, and other sporting areas, but not to maybe to the, not to the level of, of Mark sports name brand is the Mavericks. If I wanted to have a gimmicky product on QVC, I want Lori. If I want somebody who's a hard worker and is going to look at my numbers, I want Kevin. If I'm trying to sell a clothing product and make it look cool, I'm going to Damon. This guy Probably here has something that's likely, yes. that he knows the market is sports. And if I can have the Mavericks wearing it, I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I don't disagree. Let's see if he, if he doubles. No, I hope he doesn't double back. Yeah. I had a great offer. Oh, I don't believe you. It looked like you were out. No, no, I had a great offer. I just think you were going that way. You just got off another seven story wave, man. No, no, no. And you're 
you fell into like a this. muddy pit. So so there exactly. you go. We're, yes. we're going to do really well. I think I would have liked to have heard Robert's offer. No, who cares what Robert's offer is? Well, I, might have I been a better offer. A lesson learned here. You did wow. not allow Price to scuff. What do you mean? You just made the deal of a Man, lifetime. I just closed the deal. I, mean, I don't. I've never. I don't. Uh, very rarely has this ever happened uh, that I've seen in all the episodes I've watched. Hey, 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 hold on. You know, people come out. They get excited. I get it. You should never take the first offer, my friend. Oh, oh, he didn't take the first offer. He countered. <laughs> he he countered, and he listened to two people go out. And yep. start and when you hear the second person go out like that, you're in your mind you're going, Oh my gosh, this there's isn't a, gonna there's work. A clock. There's a clock over my head and this is gonna end, you know, very quickly if I don't, mm -hmm. you know, figure something out. But but even with that said, he still had the bravery to to counter back uh 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 what was it, twenty five he, he, he went back 20, at twenty five percent. Twenty five percent, yeah. Oh, because he won the thirty percent. That's right. You, you yeah. Mind and hear what they have to say. But he also never said what his cost per unit is. Yeah, well, Mark I mean, made that deal this. without even asking cost per unit because he's not worried about it. Because he knows it's not; it can't be that expensive. And if it is that expensive, he'll get it down. I mean, they're already selling it for thirty nine ninety five. But what if it costs twenty to make? Because he doesn't have the uh, the ability to mass produce them yet. And when he does, it'll go down. So I, he's and it's only fifty grand. And Mark's not worried about fifty grand. Well, yeah, like fifty that. grand to Mark Cuban's—that's that, like a McDonald's yeah. trip. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna take the offer that I have for Mark. I'm super happy. You can open it back up right now. You can open it back up right now. You can't. Rules are made to be broken. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars for twenty-five percent. Oh. Oh man. I accepted Mark's offer. I have to honor that. Absolutely. I'm so excited. Exactly right. Appreciate it, Nick. Good answer. You're not a scumbag. Congratulations. You made the wrong deal, but I wish you all the best. You won't Thank be. you. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, news, you lose. We're winning. Oh, okay. Great thing on that is, first of all, he's he says, I'm going to honor the deal. Yep. All right. Most of people would walk away and go, oh, man, I'll take that hundred grand. I can get more. Yeah. And they become that's... greedy. No. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that. It doesn't matter. Like that. First off, well, but all right. Here's the thing. You're talking about a guy who probably has a net worth in like the millions already, mm -hmm. right? So, so like an extra fifty thousand dollars is not going to make a difference to him. He knew, he, like you said, he knew who he wanted to work with. As soon as he got that offer, he was willing to counter back <laughs> down. He probably owns a hundred percent of the company anyway, so an extra five percent is not going to make a difference. The fifty k isn't really what he's there for. He's he's there for you know to get for the name advice and the name, you know. So I I think uh, yeah I, I think he he did he did good there. Now put as well, listeners put yourself in the in the eyes of the shark. Would you give this guy fifty dollars? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, if I felt that yeah I yeah I I think I think I would. I mean, put it this way: if you if you had fifty thousand dollars to invest, and you can invest in somebody who's a I don't want to say pseudo celebrity, but a celebrity in in you know in a lot of circles, yeah, yeah, fifty grand, definitely. Yeah, I, I would have wanted to hear his profit first. I would have wanted to know what cost per unit was before I would have put fifty thousand into it. Well, Tim, you gotta you gotta remember, like this these these pitches um, are usually mm -hmm. an hour to an hour and a half, and they cut them down to like six minutes. So they might yeah, have I said know. it, but we didn't get to hear it. So they just decide like what's important and what's not based on the deal. And in this case, I'm guessing it was it was fine. It didn't it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Wait, you know. You just jump on it and seize opportunity, and that's what I did. And I couldn't be happier. Oh yeah. Well, that that is awesome. Let's uh, so this just aired a couple of weeks ago. Let me let's go check out the uh, dude's website here. So you know, it's interesting just looking at this. Like, I don't nothing about sports here, mm -mm. right? Head injuries, sleep sleep insomnia, huh? Uh, recovery performance. I guess that's the closest recovery performance and well being. And then talks about being seen on in those sports. So a little bit of a mismix mixed message, uh, in my opinion there, but you know, I, it's a good looking website. I've seen plenty of worse looking websites. Let's check out the uh, social media here. See what he's got going on. I think it's 1700 followers. Uh, I mean, that's not a great wall. I don't, I don't uh. know. 
I, I, I gotta agree with you on that one. Yeah, it's it's not. I mean, it's pretty pretty standard uh, for for like uh, from a business standpoint, you know, like a corporate kind of standpoint. And it's the same same stuff here on on uh, on Facebook. But how many? You know, um, how much do you have followers? And this was seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred followers. Okay. So I, you know, so it's. I mean, it, it's it's doing well. But I mean, their wall could definitely use uh, some. Their grid could use some some love there. Anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of the Biz of Biz Coach Reacts. Uh, if you have been enjoying them, make sure you get subscribed and smash the like button and uh, go, Tim, tell where they tell uh, tell the people where they can check you out at and uh, and how they can get in touch with you. Hey, go to Tim dot com. That's just Tim. The last name Gillette, like the razor blade and dot uh, com. And what do you what do you uh, help people with? Uh, small businesses, entrepreneurs doing online marketing. Things like your blog, podcast, videos to actually make your awareness out there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And if you want to work on growing your profit within your business, reach out to me, superjoepardo.com or at superjoepardo on all social media. Don't forget to smash the like button and get subscribed. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.